Good day, my dear friends. I'm Oliver here. Let's see for the label here 996 Big X right after you receive how you take it out from box, how you do the test. So first, it would be packed in the wood box. So uh, counterweight and uh, radio, it's a separate in the box. Yeah. So you have the main structure X right in the box. So when you release the belt, put the belt away, release the locking, then lifting point is big arm or small arm bucket, the main arm. Rear side lifting point, not the side cover, not the cabin, okay? They are small uh, metal bar connection. Here it is directly locking with hooking, hooking point. So side cover, left and right, and cabin not for lifting. Only from the chassis and from rear here, you see the main girder going through. These main girders, they are hooking point. Okay, so you can lift from the main girder and the chassis, not side cover. So after you, uh, also you can try the box, side cover, front cover, you all remove the cover. Then we put battery, then start to drive it out. It's easier, but only because this one, 135 kg, it's very heavy even for three men lifting. So driving out is the best way. So first, Power on the radio. Welcome to Ethos. So all this turning knob released, turning to left. Other switches are in the middle. This is self return, yeah. Others not self return back to middle. Then here, so for the rear side, we have put one battery. This one counterweight battery chamber. So directly put the battery and hook up. So on top, power switch on. The white color pressing down is on. Keep it off. Connect the battery. So later, this one, it is fitting with a big, this big chamber, yeah, can fit with a big 3S battery. After connect it, push in the wires, then hook it up to the main frame. Align it, drop it down. Still power off. Now we connect the front battery for the chassis. So one more three S battery. This cover, front one, it is magnetic secure. Remove it and push it in the battery. Then connecting it. Radio is already on. Yeah, this one after you connect, chassis directly have power. Hook it up. So after chassis battery connected, you already start driving. You have the drive, left stick, right stick for steering. But now you don't have hydraulic control because oil tank is emptied. So this left side cover, you can directly lift up, lifting from the main, main frame, yeah. After you lifting, you will see there, we have the oil tank on there. So lifting from front and the rear outside, shake a little bit, you can directly lift it up, then move away. So the, it has the pin inside for here and for here for locking into the hole. So now after remove, here that's the oil tank. So this cap open for fill up hydraulic oil. So more than half the oil tank, yeah. Fill up more than half the oil tank. Then we can put cover back and then we can start operating hydraulic. So here that's three return line. And here from bottom this big pipe. This one that's the suction line. So now it's having oil, then you can align it, align the pin, yeah? Then sliding it down, lock it. Need to be aligned, then pushing down. Go. Okay, lock. This net is a metal net, don't push here, yeah? It's a small metal, only pushing on the cover. So in the box, you will find this one, that's the extinguisher put at the rear side. And here, that's the sticker and the spare hose and the nozzle connections. 
Here that's the controller for adjusting the tension of the track. And here that's the coconut black powder for smoking, two smoking systems. This, the rubber cap open, also this one, you can put the smoke powder inside. When you, after you're switching on the smoking, and mix control for the blower, when you're running, it is blowing out the black powder. So it's ready, now the power switch for the upper body, power it on, after power on, the warning light, it is directly on. Let's see for the control from radio. So actually from radio, if you're not familiar, when you check it, do not change any settings, yeah, otherwise it will be trouble. If you click MDL, go to mix, sliding from top, that's all the channel control. Sliding down each one, if you click in, you can see the information, but if you're not familiar, do, do not change any of the settings here. Yeah. So now we will operate. T5 only pushing forward, that's for LED, yeah. Warning light is always on. Lights on, and now number four switch pushing forward is left stick rotation. Then left stick forward back for small arm. If number four switching switching back, it would be left and right turning the stick for arm rotation exchange, pushing forward for rotation. So changing number four switch for changing the operation for rotation and small arm now. Forward is for small arm. Okay, so this one, the left top button for idle speed of the first pump is for bucket. Now bucket, if you operate, have delay. If you give idle speed for the bucket pump, immediately reaction for the bucket. So bucket pump, big arm pump, idle speed, then big arm immediately operation, stop big arm pump. This pump is for small arm, idle speed for small arm. And left side, this pump is for the ladder. So ladder now, if you operate no working, need to directly start the pump because ladder here from right side, have a rotation. Right side, this ladder, so start the pump for ladder, only low speed. Very low speed enough because very small cylinder for the ladder. So now, number 11 switch for the ladder up and down. Down, stop the valve, middle, pushing forward, rising the ladder. And stop the valve, stop the pump for ladder. So four pump, one for bucket, one for big arm, one for small arm, one for the ladder. L1, L2 is for the two smoking fan system. So L1, L2, pushing down is off. Pushing to middle, it is mixed start. Now no working. But when you're operating, the fan start. So L1, L2 at the middle for mixed start. If you're pushing to top, fan started. Pushing to the top, second fan started. That's directly start for smoke. Pushing to back to middle for mix running the fan. And if you're not using the smoking, you don't push powder inside because it's coming a lot, black powder. Yeah. So you, you switch it off to fan for smoking off. So this one have two sound system. Two sound system all in the cabin. So I have another video show all the details of receiver and the functions. So now, two sound system number two switch and number eight switch self return to forward. Yeah, first sound system start. Waiting. Start up, and second sound system start. And the horn is right side push button. T6, pushing forward, increasing volume. Pushing back, decreasing volume. Okay, let's increase it. Volume increasing. 
Now let's operate. Drive forward. Steering. And now I will start three pump for idle speed for quick operation. So the bucket, idle speed, big arm, idle speed, small arm, idle speed. Then do the operation, combination. If you like another operation, means now rotation, front arm, you can change it over. Number four switch, switch back. Now this one will be for rotation and small arm. Changing back to another control mode, small arm, rotation. So stop the engine sound, stop the pump, no, no more operation, no need idle speed. So if you check now, delay, yeah? actually you don't need to start the pump directly. Only turning, now pump start. Turning pump off, almost near start. It's also reacting a little bit quickly, but if you want more smooth operation, directly start the pump at low speed, idle speed. That's most smooth, quick reaction. Okay, stop the pump. Off the number two sound system. Going off. Off number one sound system. Going off. Easy stop as a real big machine, yeah? Make the horn. Yeah, page return. For the settings, normally don't change it, otherwise maybe we will need a video call to see what you change, what you got trouble with, then I will figure out to make it work for you. Thank you for watching, see you.